County, Katina. Shelby County school parents, students and teachers are sounding off about how virtual school is going two days into the semester. So here are some facts. More than 95,000 students started the semester online. The first day, the district received 5,700 calls to the parent helpline. 80% of students with computers powered up for school. As local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio explains, many parents think that under the circumstances, the school year is off to a good start. There were some hiccups. There were internet issues on both sides. Grandwood Elementary parent Liz McKee says the first day of school for her fourth grade daughter and second grade son went relatively smoothly. I feel like they had an insurmountable task and there was no way to please everyone but they've done a wonderful job. McKee isn't alone. A check of online message boards found parents, students and teachers coming away with a positive experience. On Reddit, a Midtown teen wrote, 12th grader here, it went great. Had a couple of connection issues, but nothing that didn't get resolved. Another person wrote, teacher here, I think it went surprisingly well. Another, parent of a 7th grader, so far, so good. Of course, there were a few blunders. One parent wrote, my son's teacher doesn't seem to understand how to mute her microphone, so we all hear her talking about the 10-year-olds. McKee says while the first two days went well, she wonders what will happen in the future. I think it's going to get more difficult. Right now, it's a novelty. The kids really haven't seen the faces of their classmates and other kids. So there's a level of excitement that exists as days become weeks and weeks become months. It's going to be a little more difficult to sustain that level of excitement. McKee worries the kids will get tired of virtual learning, adding there are some things that are hard to learn sitting in front of a computer. These kids are in school to learn their ABCs and their 1, 2, 3s, but they're also there to learn how to interact with other people. Hopefully, McKee says in-person classes can resume once it's safe. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.